All right, all right, all right. Ladies and gents, sitting at home watching this, I have a treat for you today. I got my man, Jeremy Williams, in the house, and he is on fire in our community these days, okay? Jeremy and I, we both live in the Philippines, all right? Now, we're living here. A lot of people think that living under the sun is the dream, and I just want to remind you that the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. So no matter where you are, take a look around in your surroundings and feel grateful for something today, okay? Now, with that being said, we are living in the Philippines and Jeremy's gonna move to my island soon and it's gonna be our island. Yes, yes, right, my man? Can't wait. <laughs> cool. So my man here, he's been with our community for a while now and, you know, when people get into this space, myself included, it's, it's, it's like a war zone, okay? People are just losing their ass. They're losing money. They're losing their reputation. They're losing credibility. And a lot of people lose their goddamn minds in the internet space because it's so ruthless and it's full of sharks, okay? Now, when I entered the space about a little bit less than a year ago, I was in the same position that a lot of people are in when they come into the internet marketing world, right? I was in a place where my back was completely against the wall. I had lost my job. I lost my businesses. I lost my income, but I still had bills to pay. But I've always had this dream of, you know, making money from a computer because I've always known that it was happening. I just didn't know how to go about doing it. Right. So my back was against the wall and I jumped online. And of course, the first thing I did was I slipped into this thing that we call the debt model, okay, or the broke man's model. Now, what the broke man's model is, is when you sign up for companies and you're, you're qualifying yourself up, you know, so that you're eligible for commissions, your upline typically tells you a couple of things, right? They tell you, you need to go talk to all your friends and family, you need to exhaust all of your hot leads, and you need to sell them something, right? Because the reason they tell you this is because from the company's perspective and from your upline's perspective, the faster you can make sales, the better. You know what I mean? The faster you can make a sale, the better, because they want the money now. But that doesn't build you a long-term business, nor does it teach you the skills, the fundamentals you need to be a successful digital entrepreneur, right? So I fell victim to this. A lot of the people in our community did. And it was, you know, it, I was starting to go down a darker path, right? I was already in debt and already struggling. And I started accumulating more debt, you know, buying traffic and doing all of these paid strategies that my upline was telling me to do. You know, let me know if that sounds familiar because I believe it does, right? This is the broke man's model. So the beautiful thing was when I stepped into the new space, when I got myself an actual mentor and surrounded myself with people who actually care for you and they want to cultivate teams of hardcore digital marketers that have real skills. When I stepped into that space, I went from completely lost and losing money to making $3,500 in my first five days. Now, in an industry where 97% of the people are failing online and quitting, how is it that our community, that Jeremy and I are a part of, consistently earn money? Consistently earn money. Ask yourself that question. The reason is simple. It comes down to training and it comes down to your desire and knowing that your goals and your dreams are bigger than your excuses. Now, because you showed up on this video today and you're watching us on this replay, wherever you may be in the world, it tells me that you probably have a dream and you're probably in some pain. You probably, you know, have goals and aspirations for your family to live a better life right? To be able to shower your loved ones with gifts and travel and, you know, take your dogs for walks and not have to worry about your boss, not have to worry about the bank calling you, not have to worry about your credit card debt. You know, this is what we all want. Humans have a human nature that they want to give back and they want to leave a legacy, right? And I have that inside me and so does Jeremy. And that's why we're doing what we do, right? That's why we do what we do. That's why we're dedicated to learning the art of internet marketing, right? And I can say with full certainty 
that if your goals are bigger than your excuses and you have a vision that you hold strong to your heart that's actually pulling you forward, if you have definite of purpose in your life and you know what you want, what we're going to show you today and talk about is a vehicle that thousands of people are using to change their life. It's drastically changed my life. It's changed Jeremy's life. Jeremy is now a full-time online digital entrepreneur, right? He's made $3,000 in the last 10 days. He has brand newbies joining his team that are making $1,000 sales within their first week, right? I made $1,000 today. I made $1,000 four or five days ago, right? How is it possible we're in an industry where 97% of people fail, two regular dudes sitting at our house right now, chilling in the Philippines, can be stacking up $1,000 commissions and other things. Like, how is it possible? We have multiple streams of income now because of this. It's possible because we took the leap of faith and we actually believed in ourselves. So for you guys watching this today, I want you to listen closely to what Jeremy's talking about, his story, and how he broke through what he was dealing with. And, you know, just understand that it is possible for anyone from anywhere at any age to do this. Like I have a guy actually who just joined something with me, 70 years old, man. He made 4,500 bucks this week. 70. Barely use a computer. <laughs> you barely use a computer. But he used the skill, he used the, the strategies that we teach, right? That we're taught, that we all use as a team. So with that being said, guys, I'll bring Jeremy out and I'm going to ask him a couple questions here so that you can get to know him and you can get to know his story and let it inspire you for your journey. All right. So welcome here, Jeremy. Thanks for coming out, bud. I appreciate you coming by. Thanks for having me, man. Good to be here. Cool, bro. All right. So before we get into the businessy side of stuff, just uh, let my viewers and your viewers just tell us a little bit about yourself, your background, what you're up to. Man, no. <laughs> I, uh, I've basically been traveling for the best part of a decade. Uh, I lived out of a backpack for a while. Lived, uh, lived in seven different countries. Um, tra traveling, traveling food and learning different cultures is like really my, my passion. And, stuff like that. and, and uh, uh, my I mean, I didn't get to do quite uh, my very cross, but and uh, yeah, I mean, I've, I've ended up here in the beautiful Philippines, and just I love it. I, I really, I really do love it here. It's, uh, the culture, the culture here is actually very similar to a lot of the culture in New Zealand. So um, it's uh, yeah, it was, it's an it was an easy it was easy for me to adapt here. And I've learned a lot of the language and. Even though most people speak English here, yeah, whenever I live somewhere, or even if I go on a holiday, I always try to at least learn my, how to say good morning and my manners and everything. But yeah, I mean, so I've been, I've been traveling the world for a while. I've lived in Prague, uh, Thailand twice, Singapore, Asia, here, Melbourne, Australia, New Zealand. And uh, yeah, just, just love it. loving life, to be honest. Loving life. Uh, I fell into this like a, it was bizarre, bizarre. I uh, don't know if you want me to go into how I got into the industry and, and everything, but um, yes, it's been, a, it's been a wild ride and one that I'm very, very thankful for. Cool, man. That's awesome. I, um, I apologize to the viewers right now. It's a little bit laggy, but you have to understand the Wi-Fi in the Philippines sometimes isn't perfect. But this is what I always say. If Jeremy and I can make money online, right? If we can make a full-time living online with this type of internet, you have no excuse wherever you are because I know your internet's faster than ours. I know it for sure. Cool. So you used to be working on the oil rigs back in the day, right? And clearly you had some sort of a vision or a goal in life that, you know, you wanted more from life. So you decided to take the plunge and go online. Can you tell us just a little bit about your experience when you first came online, kind of how it went at the beginning before getting involved in our millionaire mentoring community? All right, so I'll just quickly tell you about how I, I got into the industry anyway. Like, I, uh, I have a really, one of my best friends in the world actually back home in New Zealand. Uh, we've, we've worked offshore together for a while and I was, I've been working all over the world on oil rigs, you know. 
And um, and I, I mean, I was a, I was a boss. I, I, I'm actually very different than most people that get into this industry because I quit a high six figure income like to try something that I had never even done before. So, uh, so most people get into this as a way of making some extra money and then eventually get to the stage where they uh, get good enough that they can sort of get, get rid of their nine to five and, and everything. But I was the opposite. I, I just, I just thought I'd try something else. And uh, I, I, was, I was here in the Philippines. I just moved here from uh, Thailand. And uh, I, got, I got a phone call from, from the boss and he's, and he's like, hey, uh, we, where do you want to go? You can go to Saudi, uh, Kuwait, or Kazakhstan. And I was just like, I was like, yeah, I don't really want to do any of that. And I, and I, I mean, I love the industry, don't get me wrong. Like the people that I worked with and everything and, and getting to see the a lot of countries and stuff was pretty amazing, but I mean, that long days, you know, 13, 14 days. Every, every day, I used to have to, I'll try this. And my mate had just got into the online business and he didn't know anything about it either. And I just was like, all right, I just, you know, I got that phone call, I was like, you know what, I quit. And I just like, it was just really abrupt, I, no real plan, no nothing. And I, I joined this, and then like a couple of days later, I joined a business with a buddy of mine. And, uh, and unfortunately, the first three companies that I joined, I got scammed about 20, 22,000 US dollars. You know, I didn't, I didn't sign a single soul. I didn't, uh, I didn't um, have any, you know, and, uh, and so that was over about a year and I hadn't worked and I was kind of at the stage where I had to find something that worked and, um, or otherwise I was going to be going back to the oil rigs with the, my tail between my legs, as, as they say. And I didn't want that. I'd been following a couple of, couple of women in New Zealand um, and seeing a bit of success and I was sort of having 10K months and things like that online and I seen who their mentors were. And I noticed that one of them lived here in the, in the Philippines. In fact, he lives about 200 meters over here. And, um, and I sort of, I reached out to him and I said, and I was living about eight hours north of here. And I said, hey, if I come down to uh, Manila, would you, would you see me? You know, and I sort of explained my story. I'm like, this is my last chance at doing anything online. And um, as you can see, I mean, I'm, I'm covered in tattoos and stuff. I, you know, so my, my, uh, and I, I, I swear like a sailor, as they say. So uh, I, I came down here and I, and I met Ari and, you know, he was like, and we got on really well, actually. We got on very, very well. And um, he, he, he said, come, come with me tomorrow. We're going to meet some other, um, some other very, very successful online businessmen. And he was like, if you come here, I will help you. Uh, I, you know, I'll help guide you and, and we'll show you the right way. And, to do things and, and how, to, how, how to do stuff. So I had a condo up there that I was still paying for like six months, but I came down here and moved down here. And, um, and so I was sort of going back and forth a little bit, but basically I, I joined this program and in my first three weeks, I made $8,000. I was like, and I was just like, Oh, oh my God. You know, I found that it was like jackpot. <laughs> you know, I, I was like, all oh, right, I can keep, I can keep the oil rigs away at least for another few months now. Because a thousand dollars in the Philippines, guys, is a, uh, is, a, is, a good, is a good amount of money. So you're making you're making three, five. Well, you're doing good enough that you can live a healthy lifestyle. And uh, yeah, and then and then things have just kind of escalated from there. And I, I mean, we were just speaking offline, uh, Sylvie, about a few about how like a few light bulbs have gone off for us uh, recently. And um, yeah, I mean, we, and we both said without this program or without our mentors, we probably, we wouldn't have even have been at the stage where we are now with our online careers. So it's been a, it's been a crazy ride. One I'm very, very happy and thankful for. And, and uh, now I start, now I'm having my friends from the oil rigs reach out to me and be like, hey man, how are you doing this? Because, you know, they all thought I'd, they all thought I'd be back. They all thought I'd be back on the rigs. And uh, yeah, but I mean, now I, I, I know 100% I'll never go back to the oil industry. So it's, it's been great. Yeah, man, that's awesome. Well, congratulations on your success, man. I know you've been working hard and you've been putting in the time 
And you know, this is like any other job, right? People, you have to understand that you don't just sign on to the internet and money starts raining from the sky. I mean, I kind of thought that at the beginning, I'll be honest, but it's definitely not like that. But the point is, if you have someone guiding you like a proper millionaire mentor, right? Someone, you know, picture it like you're running down a path and you're trying to get to the end of this path and you're just tripping over rocks and you, can, you don't know where you're going. You don't even know which way the path goes, but you're just trying to get there because at the end of the path, you know that there's some money and, and, some, and some success in the online space. You can run all goddamn day, but you're not going to get anywhere. It, it's going to take you 10 years and you probably still won't get there because you'll probably fail first and then you'll have to quit, right? That's what most people do. They fail a bunch of times and then they quit. But when you have someone who's beside you on the path, locking arms with you, holding a giant flashlight, right? And they're, they're telling you what to do. Here comes a rock. Oh, here comes a tree. Let's run this way. Let's go up this mountain. Let's go over here. How much easier is that hike than if it's in the pitch black, right? That's my analogy that I just thought of. That's not that good, but that's my analogy. Running down a dark path with a flashlight, okay? That's the difference. Because when you're guided by people that have 30, 40 years experience in the industry, right? That come from a marketing background in corporate America, and then they apply the strategies into the online space, and then they use the power of the internet to broadcast everything out to the world, right? That's a powerful, powerful combination. And they teach us literally step-by-step -step, a blueprint strategies that anybody can use that are completely free, right? We don't use any paid traffic. Now, if you want to scale your business, anybody who's watching this, if you're an experienced marketer, if you want to scale your business, by all means, there are paid strategies that we know as well. We know how to use solo ads. We know how to use Facebook ads, YouTube ads, Instagram ads. We can do all of that as well. That comes later, right? Once you've started catching traction and once you've got the fundamental basics of what internet marketing really is, then you can scale with traffic, okay? So don't think that you'll never be scaling with traffic. You can, but we do it a different way, right? We get the fundamentals first, whereas in the broke man's model that I spoke about at the beginning, they teach you to scale first, they just buy a bunch of traffic and start running it through. But the thing is, if the person doesn't have any skill, right? If they don't know how to upsell, downsell, if they don't know how to duplicate their team like Jeremy's doing right now, he has three levels of duplication this week, meaning boom, 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 three levels deep for making money. If you don't know how to do that, right? If you don't know those skills, which we learn, you can buy all the goddamn traffic you want. You're not gonna make any fucking money. Zero, zero, right? Zero. We have people on our team that went over 100K in debt following that model who are now successful six-figure income earners. It's just fact, right? That's what happens in our community. Okay, so you were an oil rig guy. You had a vision for the future. You came online. It was a bit of a rocky start like everybody, me also. It's all the same. Everyone who comes on is rocky as hell. You got yourself surrounded by some millionaire mentors. You joined the community that we're part of together that's amazing, right? Life-changing. And now you're having success using free strategies, right? You have a duplicatable team who's growing. Your influence as a influencer or as a leader is gathering momentum, right? You're becoming more of a force in the internet space, right? And I'm sure without even asking, I know the answer already. I'm sure your self-development journey has been going like this. Would you agree? Uh, I a hundred percent. I actually, I, did, I talked about this with my team on a Zoom the other day. I was like, if two years ago you had to tell me when I was on the rigs that I'd be sitting here working online full time, multiple screens with a microphone and everything, you know, I, I would be like, you're out of your mind. <laughs> a couple of bad words in, in, in there as well. But <laughs> the, uh, it's, been, it's been a crazy, um, it's been a crazy uh, journey. And like, I mean, it's, it's funny you say personal development, like just here, like just behind me, actually. I went to a bookstore, a book show with my, uh, my partner last week. And I mean, we just, we just were buying book after book after book. <laughs> you know, like, I mean, I, I, guys, I didn't even finish high school, right? Like, I, I, got, I got kicked out of high school. I um I, I was I was passing everything, but my attendance record was about thirty three percent. And uh, and they were just like you know. I and mean, when I was there, I was talking to the students, and I was I'm very lucky that I can. And my partner actually gets annoyed at me like this. I'll be 
watching, I'll be listening to something and doing something else, but I'm very good at retaining uh, what I hear. So, um, but yeah, so they, I, I got kicked out of high school. So, I mean, I didn't, I, I wasn't reading books and stuff like that at, at school. And, I, and now, and now I'm sitting here in Manila, you know, and with this big, this setup, different setup for, for an office. And then I, and like, I'm just reading Tony Robbins books and, and Simon Sinek books. Which, by the way, I've just started this. This is amazing. Uh, actually, my, my lady's reading that right now. So, uh, yeah, yeah it's a great, it's a great book. But, um, yeah, the personal development side, I've always been a, I've always actually been a super positive person and, um, and I've always believed in myself. I, I, I guess that's one skill why I've been able to move around the world, move around the world and like not even think about it, you know, like, I, I mean, I've been to some bad, some bad places with work and things like that, but I, I just, I've always been a really positive person to the fact that people are always asking why am I, why am I always smiling, you know, mm. and and I've, I've always kind of like thought, well, you know, if I wake up in the morning, it can't be too bad. So, in fact, a lot of this tattoo, guys, I, I don't know if you know much about New Zealand, but this is, um, my dad is a Māori guy and he's a native New Zealander. So this is a net um, uh, just for New Zealand and it's got lots of meanings. But even in this tattoo, I have red in this tattoo. And uh, we don't normally put too much color in this, but the red is to remind me that the future is always bright. So no matter what shit I go through, just smile, tomorrow's gonna to be okay. And I, and I have literally thought like that since I was 14 years old. But since I got into this, um, into the, our team that we're, that we're into with our mentors, and uh, I mean, you know, like you say, the personal development is through the roof these days. I, I mean, I'm constantly reading, I'm constantly watching things on YouTube with you know people like, Tony Robbins or Gary Vee or just whoever, like if I see something, and I mean, people people in our team, we're always sharing, if we see a good video, we kind of put it on our Facebook wall anyway, right? So we, uh, we'll, we'll, I'm always clicking a link and, and watching. And I mean, probably because of the way that I am and the way that I speak, I, I really like people like Dan Luck and uh, Gary Vee because, you know, they, they kind of keep it real, as they say. And, uh, and I, I get along. I... Oh, it's kind of funny, actually. Um, so I just finished Dan Luck University, and I'm doing my poster, the six steps to six figures, you know? So, I mean, I would never have done that kind of stuff. I would never have done that kind of stuff, uh, I, I, at least even a year ago. A year ago, I wouldn't have even done that. But, um, yeah, the personal development is, is through the roof in city. We've, we've talked about different courses and that that we're doing and have done and yeah. shared a few things. So, um, yeah, that, that's, a, that's a huge... I, don't, I think people underestimate how much um, the personal development actually is required for you to, to really climb in, in anything in life, really. Like, I mean, it's not just online business, but whether it's sport or whether it's, um, whether it's trying to lose 50 kilos or something. Like, I mean, that's actually, that's actually a goal of mine. I'm trying to lose 45. I'm down about 20. I, put, I went down about 23, 24, but I put a couple on over Christmas, so... My my lady's a personal trainer and she's uh, she's got me back in the gym and, and everything and um so we're we're back on that and uh, but I mean mindset is key to everything everything you want to do if you have a weak mind and and you're going to make excuses for everything then I, it's almost to the stage don't don't even don't even put any money into doing a business or something if you're gonna if you don't have the mindset of you you need to like you need basically you need to think I need to win at this I have to win. Yeah, you know, because, uh, this guy um, Simon Sinek. I, I haven't actually read it. I, I watched the YouTube clip, um, but he his first book, his first big seller was uh, "Know Your Was It Know Your Why." I start with why. Mm. Mm. Start with why. So, like, if you're getting into online business just to make money, you're not going to make any money. I, and this is something that Sylvia and myself were kind of touching on just before offline, uh, before we started the call, and, and how we're having the success now. And he was just talking about how I've got people duplicating. And I mean, you know, and that's because I genuinely want to help people. And the way that I do my business with my team is um, I'm, I'm making sure that my team's winning because when my team wins, I win. Yeah. And, and, it can that, and you know, it's almost selfish wanting your team to win because it gives you such a good feeling, right? Like you're like, all right, if, if, if I help them make some money, 
it makes me feel good because I helped them. So it's almost a selfish feeling in a way, but it's, um, yeah, I mean, that, that's kind of how I base my business these days is, and, and that's why I brought this book. I mean, you can read that, Leaders yeah. Eat Last. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's perfect. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to the beach tonight for four days, and uh, I'll finish this book while I'm there. So um, sweet man, it's, yeah. It's been that, that's um, you know. Sorry, I'm muted. So much yes, and everything you just said there. It's like I said that. I mean, because for me also, right? Like, okay, I did go to school and I did go to college and all this stuff right? Like truth be told, I have a master's degree, but I didn't fucking earn it. I can tell you that, right? Like I barely, barely was there. I was not there mentally. Like I was there, I got my piece of paper, but it, I didn't retain or I didn't care. It was, it wasn't for me. I was like you, man. I skipped every class. I was out doing other things. And I would, again, if somebody told me, right, you're going to be sitting in the Philippines, right? At a desk like this, like I have here, with like all these books beside me and all my stuff, my whiteboard, you know, it's just a shit show around here. And it's all personal development stuff. Like it's all personal development stuff. And what a lot of people don't understand in this industry, and I didn't either, and you probably didn't either, is that this is actually, you know, the make money online space is actually personal development disguised as a business, guys. It's disguised as a business because the more personal development you do on yourself, right? The more of a leader you become, just like Jeremy's talking about. You become a humble servant leader. You're all about your team. You're all about helping and giving back and, and, and growing your team, right? But you can't do that if you're not developing yourself. If you're not growing, if you're not becoming a better version of yourself, right? You can't cultivate a team. So if you can't cultivate a team and you can't grow and help others grow, this industry is, you're not gonna, you're gonna fail. But the thing that's beautiful is I didn't know it before I got into millionaire mentoring, right? I wasn't working on myself that much. I mean, I was, but I didn't dive deep, deep because I didn't really see the correlation. You know, I separated the two. I was like, okay, I'm going to read my Tony Robbins book and journal and do my push-ups, And then I'm going to go work online and make some money. Like that's how I was thinking. Totally separate. I didn't put the two together and realize that they feed off of each other. And the more self-development you do, right, the more money you make because you're actually cultivating a team atmosphere and other people are in it as well. And that's why, you know, we have personal development groups, right, where we share our story, share our vision, share our journey. And people who resonate with it, they come along. They join the tribe, right? That's how it is. And it's an amazing thing because, like I said earlier, all humans want to give back and leave legacy, right? And you can do it in the online space. The power of the internet is crazy these days. You can reach the entire world. You can have meetings with 20 people on it. You can provide value and you can be a leader. And if you do that, right, and you make some small tweaks to your, your marketing strategies that you learn inside Millionaire Mentoring, you put it all together, all of a sudden, you can be like me making a full-time income working part-time, right, because I'm a hotel GM. Or you can be like Jeremy who stepped away from a multi-six-figure job Okay, let that sink in. Stepped away from a multi six figure job and now is having full on success as a leader in the space, working his way towards being a super heavy hitter, right? That's what we're all about. And we're following our mentors' lead who are seven and eight figure earners, people that make around 10 million plus a year, right? Now think about that. So, with all that being said, um, is there anything you'd like to uh, say just to, you know, what's, what would one piece of advice be for anyone who's watching, who's thinking about joining our team or thinking about making a move or they're on the fence or they don't really, they don't know like, you know, ah, should I do it or shouldn't I do it, right? Because for me, when I was on the fence, the thing that pushed me over was when I realized that I had my ego in the way, right? I thought I knew it. I thought I knew what I was doing. And then a person said to me a very simple sentence, show me your bank account. And I was like, Eesh, maybe I don't know everything, right? So that was what pushed me over the edge. I was like, well, fuck, I haven't made any money. He's like, well, come on then, what are you doing? And I was like, okay, boom, I made a thousand bucks the next day, went on to make three grand like the next three or four days. So what would you give one piece of advice to anybody who's watching, 
who's kind of sitting on the fence and they're not quite sure at this moment? What would you tell that person? Don't do it. Don't waste your money. <laughs> because if they're waiting on the fence, they're not action takers. Exactly. I was hoping you were going to say that. I was hoping you were going to say that. You know, I mean, I, I, I've had, I, I've actually turned away a person before. They were going to, they were going to join me. They were just sitting on the fence, and they were like, "Look, I'll join, but I don't." But, 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 and I was like, "Don't yep. even worry about." It. I did that two weeks ago, man. Literally the same thing. A guy, he's been on the fence for so long, but, but, but. I finally said, "You know what? Listen, if you're not an action taker." and you don't have definite of purpose, if you don't have the desire and the dream in you for more, and you really can't make this decision, this industry is not for you. And I just said, yeah. I'm sorry. Even if you want to join, I'm not taking you on my team because I just, I can't have your negative energy around my guys because we're here and we're, we're working hard. We have definite of purpose. We have a vision, we have a goal, and you don't need that around, right? So if you are on the fence, I mean, if you just showed up here today because you're curious, that's all good. But if you've been lingering around for months and months and months on end, maybe take a second look at it, right? Because this is not for everybody. Would you agree with that, Jeremy? A hundred percent. I mean, this does take work. Just because it's on the internet does not mean it doesn't take any less work than that a business down here that's a brick and mortar business. Yeah. So, I mean, it's different, yeah. And you're doing it from home and, or you're doing it from a cafe or something like that. But at the end of the day, if you're not willing to put in some effort and putting in some work, I like I swear, just don't even bother. <laughs> yeah. And that's why that's why finding your why and having like my why was to to never go back to the oil industry. I mean, I still had about five months off a year. I I was earning I was earning like over one fifty a year tax free, you know. Wow. And um and I, I mean I always knew that I could fall back on it. I still get job offers now. Um, but I just, I just seen something different for myself and my friend, you know, uh, and I just, I just thought, take it, take a chance. And, uh, and to be honest, I've always backed myself to succeed in anything that I've, that I've kind of ever done. And, um, I, and I mean, that's, you know, remember I got kicked out of high school. <laughs> I used to clean the streets at four o'clock in the morning in my hometown, which was my first job. Oh. If you don't mind, Sylvia, I want to tell a quick little story of what changed, what changed my life and the way that I thought forever. So I got kicked out of school. I hitchhiked. I don't know if you guys know what hitchhiking is. Hitchhiking, you put the thumb out on the road and get random people to pick you up and take you places. So I hitchhiked around my, my country for about a year and a half as a 16-year-old, you know? And uh, I was doing odd jobs and I was, and like, just to sort of survive and, and everything and and uh, I just had a backpack, and I had four pieces of cardboard with uh, two different, two different cities on each on each piece, right? And I I, I traveled all around New Zealand because I knew I wanted to travel the world, but I wanted to see my country first. But anyway, my dad rang me up. He's like, "Hey, you want to make some money? I got a job for you for a month." And I was like, "All right." So I made my way home, cleaning the streets of New Plymouth, my hometown. So four o'clock in the morning, I would get up and hose the street or sweep the street. And, uh, and you know, I mean, when you're, when you're a young 18 year old, that's, that's not really the job you want when people are still out drinking, you know, people are still out, people are still out partying and, and like, like hey, Mel, <laughs> you know. And, uh, but yeah, you know, I did that. And I, I used to be a, a very good golfer. And um, I was representing my club one day in a golf tournament, and I was I was playing with the number one lawyer in our in our state. And uh, he said, "What do you do for a living?" And I didn't even realize I did it, but I looked at the ground and I said, "I clean the streets." But I didn't realize that I looked at the ground. And he said to me, "Don't ever be ashamed of what you do. There's a lot of people out there that are doing nothing, but whatever you do, do do it at a hundred percent." And that people do take notice. And you know what? From that moment, from that moment, I took that to heart. From that moment, I've never had a job interview and I've worked, on, I've worked for four different oil rig companies around the world. And I've never had a job interview. I had a job. I got a chance to go cleaning. I went, I was started cleaning the streets. Then I moved into high pressure water blasting. I mean, real high pressure, can kill you kind of thing. And I went, and some, I went out and cleaned a rig. 
I was doing some cleaning and I got offered a job while I was out there. And then I got offered another job on another rig, another rig, another rig, and I just traveled the world that way. And that was a piece of advice that I, I, will, never, I will never remember and uh, I never forget, sorry. And it, it, was just, it was just such a small thing, and, and, but it stuck with me forever. So whatever I do, I do it, I do it at 100%. Yeah, man. That's awesome. Thanks for that little, that golden nugget there. That's amazing. I, I hear you, dude. I really do. That's really, I got goosebumps when you said that story, dude. You know, there's a saying actually that I, I have written inside my bedroom on one of my affirmation boards. And it says, do everything as if it's the only thing you do. Yeah, that's good. Right? Even if it's, even if it's, so I take it deep. Like, for example, when I wake up in the morning, Usually one of the first things I'll do is like kind of do a couple stretches, like bend over, touch my toes, you know, just a little bit of just for like literally for 20 seconds, just to kind of move my body. Before I used to do it kind of loosely. I'd be like, ah, oh, ah, oh, 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 oh. Now I really like think about it and I balance my toes, you know, and I make sure my toes are spread and I bend over slowly and I like think about stretching my hamstring and that's that kind of thing. Do everything like it's the only thing you do with 100% focus. So that's amazing, man. That's perfect. That guy, it stuck to you, right? That stuck to you. And it, it really helped you mold you into the man you are today. So that's awesome, man. Cool. Thanks for that. That's amazing. Okay, guys. Well, I think we're going to wrap her up here. Um, I hope you guys got some value. I know I sure did. This is very insightful, Jeremy. I, I thank you very much for coming on, bud, and making some time. I know you got a lot of meetings and a lot of team duplication going on. You, you got a lot of training and helping out, helping out your team. So that's cool. And, uh, you know, if you guys are interested in doing what we do and learning how we learn what we do, right? If you have a vision that's actually bigger than your excuse, if you have goals and you're here today and you waited to the end and you stuck it out and you're, you're, you're inspired by what you hear today, you know, if you really think that you can make it and you have a feeling inside you that's saying, you know what, that internet shit is cool. I want to do that. If you're thinking that, or if you're a struggling marketer right now, I can tell you with 100% certainty that what we're involved with has been replicated and duplicated hundreds of times. We have hundreds of people in our team that are six figure earners already from this strategy. Go ahead. Jimmy. Yes. I just want to, you just said something. If you're struggling and you, and everything and you're wondering, oh, I, you know, I can't, I can't do this. Just real quickly touching on my team duplication. I had, I had a person join me. And then a second person joined, actually this is, yeah, it's gone three days. So a person, a person joined me in this business, then I helped him get two sales in his first five days. That second person, I helped get two sales in her five, first five days. And, and her, her first person only joined last Thursday or Friday. And she, on Saturday, she watched her first piece of training and rang, Christi, uh, rang um, her sponsor and, and messaged me saying, I don't think I can do this, I'm not a leader. Yesterday she got her first sale. Boom, there it is. That's two, three steps in, in, in one week. Three, three steps down in one week, and this was coming from a person who had never had any success online and said to me on Saturday, I don't think I can do this, I'm not a leader. Wow. Amazing. Well, I'm excited to watch you and your team grow and whoever that person is, I'm going to keep my eye on that person because that's very inspiring when people come from that state where they have no self-esteem and they're down and then they start going through the training. They go through the mindset training that we're taught. They start lifting themselves up. They become a different, stronger person. And then when your bank account starts reflecting it, you really step into a new, new area of power in your life. And that's really what this is all about, right? So with that being said, guys, we'll call it a day here. Thank you for joining us on this live and interactive broadcast with Jeremy. We're both coming at you from the Philippines. We hope to see you on the other side. And with that being said, we'll catch you later. Have a good one, Jeremy. Thanks for stopping by, bud. Thanks for having me, Sammy. All see right. You, bro. Cool, bro. <laughs>